In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a Canva design as a PDF file. As an example, I have my digital products ideas list, which is part of other digital products and memberships on my own website. It is a design I did in Canva. And since I'm happy with that, that means I'm ready to download it as a PDF. So to do that, I go up to the top right corner where it says share, click on that button. Then that brings up a new pop-up and down toward the bottom, we have the word download, click on that. It brings up a new download screen, which is exactly what we want as we are downloading a file from Canva. So it starts with file type and there are multiple different file types you can download from Canva. Often it will default to something like PNG if it has graphics. Canva always has a suggested option and usually it's PNG or something like that, but there is a lot of different options here in the dropdown. For PDF, we're gonna select either PDF standard or PDF print. Obviously the difference is whether or not the PDF is meant to be printed, which would be PDF print, or if it's just something you will be emailing if it is a standard document that you're gonna use online only on your computer and never print, then you would select PDF standard. PDF standard looks like this. It's a little bit more simple. And then if you want to do PDF print, you click on that. I always do PDF print because I create products that are printables and meant to be printed out. So with PDF print, once you select it from the dropdown, you have all of these options come up. So the options here are to select crop marks and bleed, and that basically just gives it the options if you are trimming the design after printing it. And then also there is a flattened PDF, and that is basically so that it prints properly. I always select this because like I said, PDFs that I'm creating are meant to be printed. So I always select flattened PDF. And then you can also include notes. If you created notes in Canva, you can do that in Canva. So if you did that, you can include those with your download. So the next step is to select the pages. So if you created multiple pages in your design, you can select either all of them, you can unselect them and then select individual pages. Or if you just want your PDF download to include one page, you would just select that page. Otherwise you select all the pages and then click done. When you're happy with that, the final selection that you must make is color profile. So in this dropdown, you have two options. If you don't have Canva Pro, you cannot use this option. So you would just select RGB and that is the best option for digital use. If you are creating PDF files that are meant to be printed and you want them to look their best with a professional printing, then you would select CMYK as your color option. And I do have a pro account on Canva and I select that always. And then the final step of course is to click download right here. It can take a few seconds or even a couple minutes to create your file with Canva, depending on the speed of Canva, of your internet connection, of the different graphics that you've included in your design, how large they are, so how big of a file you're creating. So once it's finished downloading, it will say completed right here. Then you can go to your downloads folder, see what it looks like, open it up, and make sure that everything looks good. So you'll start with the first page and kind of scroll through all the pages, make sure everything looks good. And then of course, with a PDF, if you're going to be printing it, I would definitely recommend printing it and making sure that it looks right printed. And if it doesn't, you'll go back and you'll adjust your settings, adjust your PDF, maybe even adjust your design until you're happy with it. It's definitely a process sometimes, but Canva makes it really easy to download a PDF and this is how you do it. I hope this video was helpful and definitely check out this next video to create with pennies in Canva.